<laughs> Every single time Mer we start a video, Mary just goes like that. Like, you need to smile. You need to smile. Um, I have been watching this show called uh, Somebody Feed Phil. It was this dude, Phil Rosenthal, the guy who created Everybody Loves Raymond, has his own show on Netflix called Somebody Feed Phil, and it is amazing. Anyway, he is a dude that is so happy all the time and so smiley all the time that I've been using him as inspiration to be more smiley on this show. Um, all right, today we are going to... Did I say welcome back to the Educated Barfly? I don't know if I did, but in case I didn't, welcome back to the Educated Barfly, everybody. Today we're making a gin basil sh smash. I, I have trouble saying that every time. A gin basil smash. It was created by George. I think it's George. I'm going to write it below. Or maybe actually Marius can put it just above my head somewhere or to the left or to the right. Uh, it is spelled J E O. RG or something like that. It's the German version of George, maybe? I don't know. You guys love to bust me on pronunciation all the time, so I will leave it to you. Uh, I will definitely, it'll definitely be written below anyway. Um, anyway, his name is George Mayer. He was uh, working at a bar in 2008 called La Lion, and he created this drink. Uh, Robert Simonson says that the uh, initial, um, the, the initial inspiration behind this drink was, sorry, I lost my train of thought. The initial inspiration behind this drink was Dale DeGroff's Whiskey Smash, which is a drink we've done on this program. All right, first thing we're going to do is take basil. We're going to take a few leaves. We're going to, we, well, I already kind of ripped them up, but you just rip them up, throw them in there. Say no less than four, no more than six. You got your basil in there. Ba basil is really aromatic, so what you want to do is just take your muddler and just give it a light press to kind of release those oils. And then we are going to get our... Um, Lemon juice, we're going to do one ounce of lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Two ounces gin. Basically, your regular, this hair is bothering me, hold on. Sorry, I know. I know a lot of you love it when I touch my hair and go back to making a cocktail. So, so unsanitary. All right, anyway, uh, two ounces of gin. What I was going to say is that this is your... Basically your run-of-the-mill sour specs, two, one, three-quarter. Um, we're going to add some ice. And I thought we'd do this over a big rock, and I cut this nice big rock, and I've been using this awesome ice knife. I found the link finally. Somebody asked me for it. I talked about it in another episode, but I've been making these nice faceted pieces of ice that look like gemstones, which I really like. I've been using it with that knife. I, I think everyone who wants to take their nice, their ice game, their or their nice ice game to the next level should get one of those. Link is below, and then we're gonna shake. All right, now, maybe I want. Yeah. All right. Now, because I like clean presentation. We're going to double strain so that we don't get little bits of basil in there uh, into the glass. Look at that color. So nice. So nice. Look at that color. Yeah. And then we're going to just go and pick some nice leaves that'll stand up on their own for the garnish. Now garnishing in this type of ice is a little bit more um, challenging because there's not like a lot of ice to wedge it on, but there you have it. The garnish is nice. I don't have to robotically uh, twist the glass. You get that. You want that. You want that gin there because when you smell it, you'll get the gin again. You get the olfactory gin. Oh, so refreshing. This is gonna be a. This is a crushable cocktail. You get that lemon, so it's tart, mostly balanced out. But what I like about that one ounce lemon three quarter simple syrup thing is that the simple syrup doesn't make it overly sweet and it, it balances out the lemon, but it still remains kind of tart. And then it's like that, that the basil plays into the botanicals of the gin so well. I use beef eater because it's like a nice, just very traditional London dry. It's, it's a little bit juniper forward, but it has those citrus elements that you can kind of balance everything with. Um, it's inexpensive. It's high quality. Yeah, oh, that's just brilliant. 
and then you get that nice basil scent. So you have that like, you know, the thing is, is you don't want to over muddle or over shake because you don't want to make it too like vegetable flavored. You just want that nice like pop of basil and then having the basil there as the garnish just gives you that nice pop in your nose. And there you have it, my friends. The very crushable gin basil smash. Crush it. And if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to check us out on Patreon, we've got some really awesome stuff going on there. Go to the Educated Bar. No, that's not true. Don't go to the EducatedBarfly.com unless you want to see our website. You go to Patreon.com backslash the Educated Barfly. And also, I just want to bear, this bears mentioning a lot of people ask me, where do you get this piece of equipment? Where do you get this piece of equipment? Guys, if you look in the description, I put links to every single piece of equipment that I use. On some of the older episodes, I've been trying to add it in. I haven't yet done that to all of them. I am trying to get to it. It is a lot of work because we have a lot of videos, but all of the videos from like, let's say five months ago to present have the links that go straight to the Amazon page where you are going to find it. And it's part of our Amazon store because we have our little affiliate links. So we get a little... Not a huge kickback, but just like a little kickback on it, which is nice for us because it helps us keep the show going. All right, guys, I will see you next time.